Vegetables Beer Review is going to be tasty. Taking a look at another Smokestack series from Boulevard. This is their chocolate ale of their Smokestack series. This is the 25th, 2015 version. I've never had the other, uh, the 2014 or the 20, 2013. I've never had any of those. Um, so um, I had their Imperial Stout. This is, they had the Smokestack series Imperial Stout, which was just like phenomenal. Um, I bought the last one of these at the, at the at high view for about maybe $13. Um, I don't see a page for this year of this beer. I've seen pages on Beer Advocate for other years of this beer, but I'm not going to refer to those because they make a different batch every year for at least the last few years. So um, I do, however, know that it's 9.1 ABV, and it is a malt beverage brewed with brewed with cocoa and with natural flavors added collaboration with christopher elbow i've never heard of that before um smokestack series by board by boulevard is just like every single every single beer i've had in the smokestack series have just been phenomenal every single one is i i suggest that if you're a craft beer fanatic like i am try and if you, if you get if you get boulevard in your area Try every single Boulevard smokestack series that, that you can get your um, sweaty palms on. <laughs> so do that, and we'll try try the other ones too. But it was, I think that the smokestack ones are more important for you to get your hands on. So let me get this cage off and pop the top, and we'll according to well, this is what Keith's beer review says. We'll see what we'll see what what we have. Oh yeah, that's a lot of smoke, baby. It smells really nice from just the bottle. I could smell some of those esters coming out of the bottle, even. So we're doing good already. I was thinking it was going to be darker than that. Really, I was. in there. I'm a cup holder. I was seriously expecting a lot, something a lot darker. <laughs> but hey, um, finger and a half of, of eggshell white head, really fluffy, crackling. The body is not what I was expecting at all. I was thinking like a dark, dark, dark beer. We have a um, hmm. they call this a burnished mahogany. Um, and, the, and putting the light through it, it's like a brownish orange color. Lots of particles and chunks floating around, and uh, lots of good two thick strings of bubbles coming up the center. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting that chocolate. Getting the chocolate, getting, um, getting a lot of things. It's hard, to, hard, to, hard to pick out though. Definitely chocolate, definitely like a dark bready belly melts. Uh, maybe some yeast. Is what I'm kind of picking up, so I'm not sure about this. Never had it, so let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and try it. This, this is like a Belgian ale. It's like, I was thinking that this was going to be like a stout when I bought it. But it's not, as you can see, it's not. It's like a Belgian ale, literally like a Trappist Belgian ale. I don't pick up the chocolate that much. 
the trial court is very, very minimal. It's there, but minimal. Um, I do pick up a light dark grayness, vinyl malt sweetness. Like a, it really has the, the profile and the flavor of a Belgian ale. You know, something that's really Belgian, really candy sugar, yeasty thing going on. I'm, I'm perplexed about this. To make something that's called a chocolate ale is usually not like this at all. Let me try and read the bottle for you. One of the brightest stars in the city of culinary treasures, Christopher Elbow, has had his own worldwide reputation for his handcrafted chocolate mas chocolate masterpieces. His sweets are distinguished by their use use of unusual, sometimes surprising ingredients, and that and that adventurous spirit has left its print on this special ale. The aroma is given over to an earthy, fruity cocoa with just a hint of hops. I get that hint of hops, but the, the cocoa is very, very um, minimal. Smooth layers of dark, dark chocolate intertwine with threads of caramel, vanilla, and nutty malt as the flavor, the flavor warms and rounds to a bitter sweet finish okay well i i'm perplexed so we'll see what i'm thinking i paid 13 dollars i think for this um so i'm you know let's see what we have i guess i'm still perplexed and don't really have a formed opinion yet Fruity, definitely free, free, fruity like a Belgian ale, a Belgian ale. Um, the chocolate cocoa thing is there, but it's minimal. Like when I when I see it say chocolate ale like this, I'm thinking like thick milk chocolate, thick chocolateiness. You know, not that this is like this minimal, this minimal stuff. You know, I'm thinking way more. It's a, really is just like a, a Belgian ale that has some chocolatey cocoiness. Um, that's really what it is. You, I get some fruitiness. I get some brown breadiness. I get like a Belgian ale yeasty candy sugariness. Um, and some cocoa, and that's really it. Mouthfeel is prickly, medium, dry, and yet still kind of sticky. Drinkable, no. Refreshing, no. It's a sipper, definitely. Definitely a sipper. Um, one you have to sip on and enjoy, not chug. Um, I was, I'm kind of, you know, not into this. I mean, I, I like it. But I, I was just kind of thinking when I see when I see chocolate ale on a bottle, I'm thinking something different, you know. If I had known it was like this, I might have steered or steered away from it. But I saw the, I saw that I saw it, and it was, it was it was the last one, and I bought it. And I'm happy I reviewed it for you. Even though maybe maybe not maybe, maybe not many not many not many. Not many people have watched it. Have watched this. Um, I'm not into it. I think it's a B, a B minus. I think it's a good, good. Um, however, when I see chocolate ale, I'm thinking something different. I'm just not into what this has become or what this is. Um, it's worth trying though, if you are a craft beer enthusiast, kind of like kind of like I am, and you're willing to put up some money to try something new and different. It's still worth it. Um, I'll give it a B minus. I'm just not really into it that into it that much, um, but it's still worth worth trying. Definitely, kind of, sort of worth your money and your time and your pocket.